Hey there, it's Dylan from Eat Wild and I wanted to talk about the Seek 8 Man uh, teepee tent. Uh, I just wanted to provide a bit of a review after weathering out a 72 hour storm in northern British Columbia. We're up here caribou hunting in mid-August and had an arctic front roll through and dumped a foot of snow on us but probably more concerning and more threatening to uh, to us was we were having uh, probably 50 kilometer an hour winds gusting up to 70 possibly touching 100 kilometers an hour we we're not too sure but uh, we spent a lot of time on the water on the ocean and uh, know what wind looks like and this was real wind so uh Um, as you can see, our teepee is still standing after suffering through those conditions. And I just uh, wanted to recognize like how much, uh, well, some of the things that we put into it just to make sure it stood up to, to, the, the, to the tent, uh, tent to the weather. So the first thing you can see is we guided out. Uh, we had to, um, at some point in the night, we had, we had this guide out. We had, we had all, the, all the points pegged down, but we ended up adding a second peg to each point, plus putting rocks on top because that was... Uh, where we ended up having a failure a couple times is the uh, wind came up and pulled the stakes right out of the ground. So by adding the rocks, um, it was able to uh, at least keep those corners down. Of course, we, we guide out all the corners of the tent. Every, every eye that we could guy off of, we did. We guide off the top because the wind was coming at us from, uh, from the north here, just really pressing into the side like a, like a, um, a sail. Um, you know, in retrospect, we kind of wish that that vent was downwind. Having said that, for the first half of the trip, we did have the tent configured correctly to the dominant wind from the west. Um, the other thing we added, just for a feature that was kind of handy, is uh, we added string for the zipper, so the string hangs down and makes it a little easier to get in and out of the tent. Um, but all in all, this thing stood up. It was remarkable. We had to remove the uh, the wood stove when the wind started cooking over 50 kilometers an hour because it was literally lifting the the stovepipe out of the tent. Um, so in retrospect, I think I would put a stake in the ground and run some wire to anchor down the stove and the and the uh, and the stovepipe so we don't lose it. But other than that, it's phenomenal how well the tent. Um, it was impervious to the wind and, and the water. Uh, it stood up uh, well um, to the uh, um, to the to the to the wind, and um, you know I couldn't believe we didn't didn't blow away to be honest. So the last thing I, we did actually to kind of keep things together when it was really howling is looking on the inside. We uh, we ended up running some guy lines down from the 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 peak. Uh, there's a few islets there. And we ran them down and for a while we were holding them and then we ended up just tying a big rock down there so to add a little bit of lift because so, the tent wanted to lift right off the ground um, and in the end uh, because we were just uh, there was just so much wind passing through the tent we actually just set up our pup tents that we had with us with the intention of going up the mountain and spike camping and uh, this just added some got us out of the wind had some of the moisture that was condensing on the inside of the tent so we're basically riding out the rest of the storm inside of our pup tents inside of the shelter from the eight man um uh teepee tent we can't really run the stove because the winds have been so cranking we have a little bit of a lull right now we're re regrouping and uh anyways awesome tent totally recommend it and uh looking forward to using it again but maybe not quite in such arctic conditions all right see you next time